working. And so it tells you that you need to take about 1.5, uh, that is uh, 3 to 4 of our sachet water every day for only your kidneys function. And this whole person who has kidney no know me function here. Now, and damage here because if a female brain, a woman kidney, a woman who has no more, a fat kidney no more, it is said. What this seminar who grow on sun? Now, as radiant, if you want on sun, who be brain? Now, who grow no? And see, I would be some from one sunny yaki to ebi. Who be we and what who runs with finny be brain? A beca on sun. And so, it is uh, something that we need to recognize that if we don't have enough water inside us, it will be killing us because it will be doing a destructive way within our body. So inadequate water intake can cause a lot of diseases such as chronic lack of water. Uh, chronic lack of water will also lead to bladder cancer according to some research that establishes. The kidneys also ex uh, excrete salt, sugar, as well as caffeine and the drugs and alcohol and chitinine. That is, chitinine is uh, a waste product after the cell has finished working on, uh, 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 on the blood cells. And so these things must be Rid, get rid of the body. They must be out of the system. If they are there, they cause a lot of sicknesses and diseases. Just as with the fuel, egu kemo na sa with the oil, egu kemo ka no ye juma no oil no ya ne ni ye fe 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 ba be ye juma be wie no na eja efi we chinti e sa wo sa no. And for this body maintenance, you need enough water. I say, unu mu yusio be bre. Emma efi nu a cells ne ye ja chile. Kite ne ni ada urea ne uric acid no. And your kidneys as well uh, eliminate and prevent formation of stones if you have enough water in them. So, if you have kidney stones, any kidney disease, kidney failure, you need to take in enough water. And uh, a lot of other organs within your system need water and uh, they need enough water and so you need to be taking in frequent water and so any idea you hear no ever inside in quantity mama bontain so in so you are the here the case here and so you need to bath and you need to clean yourself you need to wash down every day at least and your crown and premium you know that crow but so if you now when you be beer now on cover beer and premium some wouldn't be bad it will be so good for you if you are staying home to take your bath three times a day very very important and necessary because you'll be able to open your pores for the blood to flow very well and also for your skin to serve as a second kidney that will take or uh, uh, take away uh, the filth that is in you and uh, with COVID inception we came to realize that there is the need for hand washing it is very important because if you have the habit of washing your hands regularly you are able to ward off a lot of bacterial and germs and viruses and that is a plus that when you visit visit the washroom you need to wash your hands before you touch anything else and cleansing is very important because water helps you to wash your dirty clothing and to wash other things that, uh, other things around you especially to clean your house and to clean your washrooms and other things you need enough water to flow so water is life because without it humankind will suffer greatly and satan's counterfeit for water is something else god says that water is pure and it is clean it is good for the system but unfortunately we have alcoholic beverages that are now ongoing now from time to time research keep coming up saying that well alcoholic wine is so good for your heart and so if you take it it is able to protect your heart because it has some protective mechanisms in there but later researchers are now discovering saying that yes indeed it may have that component of helping your heart but then it causes cancers of different uh, types and so one of such research those researchers or most of those researchers were conducted in britain and they established that in europe to know that they have carcinogenic effects that is alcohol whether it is moderate or low so the best for you is to avoid alcohol and it is associated with esophageal uh, cancers stomach cancers liver cancers breast cancers and so many other cancers and so i want to entreat you to say that please try to avoid taking in alcohol because when you consume alcohol what suffers greatly is your liver your liver excretes 90 percent of the alcohol that you consume and by doing that it sacrifices itself and when it finished taking away that the rest that is the 10 percent is being excreted through your 
kidneys and also your lungs uh, through the breath that you bring out. So alcohol is very deadly and it is very, very dangerous. Replace it with pure water and that will be a blessing to you. And so when the kidneys, uh, the, 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 the liver neutralizes and destroy alcohol molecules, it uses something that is called, uh, an enzyme called dehydrogenase. And when the dehydrogenase is able to destroy that, it leads it to be sick and uh, you have a sickening uh, liver. And so the Bible says it clearly. That is why it says that do not gaze at wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly. In the end, it bites like a snake and poisons like a, a viper. And so why do you want to poison your liver? Why do you want to poison your body? God knew it. And so do not joke with it, no matter the percentage. The alcohol content that the body needs, the body produces it for itself. It doesn't need any external alcohol to function efficiently. And again, another thing that we need to be very careful and be aware of is the soft drinks that are now taking over the world. Soft drinks are leading a lot of people into diabetes, obesity, kidney diseases, and so many other things. And they're also leading to low bone marrow or mineral density, leading to osteoporosis. So if you need a soft drink, the only thing you need is to get water and then about eight teaspoons of sugar, put it inside, and then add aspartame, that is a, 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 a carcinogen, cancer-causing agent that is being put inside, plus other chemicals that are loaded, and then you add carbon dioxide. And so when you add these things to it, you have your soft drink to be consumed. But when those chemicals enter into the body, they lead to a lot of things. So sugar sweetened, uh, carbonated soft drinks, accelerate aging. If you are used to taking in those sugar, sugar sweetened carbonated beverages, they will accelerate or speed up your aging. It is a open your beer. One of my son, Bible, the cousin, Sunday, a idea, and ye prow, a cum de casso, or ampa, so one no more, what will bread buono and a woman. Na a prano e mani benya yaria who do be brafe, soft drinks a ye and noko nokoa ensa e buswa sa si sua ne ababe pi wagana be bre yi. So yo be awa tie num ana wode ma ma be brea yafe ye because e buama wunyini kosu e o hariso e ma wunyini ten 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 tem e ma nebru so afe yi e timisi sa u DNA according to research. So specifically if you are someone who take 330 mils of uh, sugar sweetened beverages, that is a fervescent soft drinks, you are trying to accelerate per day. You shorten your telome, uh, telomes. Uh, yeah, more, um, uh, uh, chromosomes, you know, I link it to longevity, you know, which shorten one by uh, some age, which is 4.6 years. It won't quite not so because of soft drinks, ain't it? This is research. This is not biblical, but it's research that has confirmed this. I feel sugar, any gas, you know, a war and sun, you know, be a Now, they shh. Sadi anu awuti e wo muno enti e bua e ma e kosi degenerative diseases ahu duwe bebre e ma e di predispose you to a lot of things that you need to avoid. Too sure it brings us to obesity. E ma kesi yamro swa e ba na fe e di oseye e kesi e ne bre ma wakuma no e bo mani say. And the WHO start to realize this. And this is what the WHO says. It says that the globalized marketing of unhealthy products open wide the entry point of the rise of lifestyle related diseases say and nyema enya ye di hu dwa na aba be gudwa so bebre ni nte amanyare wa ensan ye na ya brabo mu yare ya na ye de ba ye ho so e do so and so non communicable diseases overtook infectious disease and uh, is the principal driver of global death that is global mortal mortality. And so unhealthy products such as cigarettes, num, e yadea, e seye, afe, alcohol, sugar-filled beverages, and foods that are rich in fat, sugar, and salt, they are so powerful and persuasive. We need to work against that. Tonight, let us take our beverage, and then we will be wrapping up on this. So the next one segment will, will come up. This is beetroot. And then you need uh, to get what we call here, Kwensusa, turkey berries. When you put these two together, they work effectively and efficiently for someone who is suffering from kidney disease, someone who is suffering from diabetes, someone who is suffering from uh, liver disease, and a lot of other things. And if you need much blood, try this, and it will be very helpful for you. That is the juice. It is made up of turkey berries, and then you take um, uh, uh, 
sugar cane is also something that is very, very important for you. And that's the juice on the screen. Uh, it is very, very important because sugar cane produces blood. And so if you need much blood, instead of going for those tonics, try sugar cane. That is a fresh one and it will be a blessing to you. Water is so good. That is why Revelation chapter 22, 17 says that. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that, uh, uh, that hear it say, come. And he, let him that is a test, come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life. It is free of charge. That is why tonight we are inviting you to be part of this spiritual cleansing. That water is not only needed for the physical cleansing and the inside cleansing, but it's also needed as Jesus Christ left us the example. So tonight, baptism is going to take place, and I want to invite you to experience this wonderful baptism that is going on to cleanse you spiritually and you will be a blessing and by the time you're done with that on the wings of a dove the spirit of the lord will take you and your challenges your fear your troubles will be done away with may the lord bless you as you continue to stay tuned for the wonderful programs and activities that we bring to you in the name of jesus christ amen of the cross we are coming on your way with a new series that hope for youth and i welcome all of you to take part in this series in this series we are going to present the doctrines made simple for our youth of today and i challenge you that your life will never be the same at the end of this series our youth will learn our doctrines. They will learn how to appreciate God and love Him so much that we will journey with them as we are going to the kingdom prepared for us by our Lord Jesus Christ. Every 7.30 Sunday on Hope TV, come and let us enjoy the messages of hope together with the youth. May God bless you and bless you. Amen. Soldier of the Cross, showing this in every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live on Hope Channel, Ghana. I welcome in a special way to Freedom from Fear Bible Lecture Series. Our media partners are 3ABN Ghana, Meridian Ghana Conference Social Media Handles, and Radio MGC, which is an online radio. I pray that the presence of God would be with us this evening. We are going to pray. But I want you to understand that there are a lot of testimonies coming through. And he said, hey, in Arabia, tonight we are blessed to have Mrs. Christiana Ejenim Boateng, the Women Ministry Director of the Southern Ghana Union Conference of the Seven Day Adventist Church, with her team ready to lead us to pray. As they sing, sing with them, as they pray, pray with them. And I know the Lord will turn our burdens into testimonies. In a special way, I want to welcome you. Good evening. Stay tuned and let us pray together. Beloved, before the awful throne of God, let all nations far and near come before him. Remember, he alone is God and he created us. We are his hands made. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are praying and we know the Lord will answer our prayer. He said we should come before him and he will answer our prayer. To all him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Praise to our God who created heaven and the earth. As we sing SDAH 1. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh my soul, praise him for he is thy health and salvation. Oh my. 
before the throne of God with me here is the director for this great conference Mrs. Adelaide Ferguson and Pastor Samuel Mino Thompson we will ask our director to thank the Lord for today is exactly one week we started this program our God has been faithful we will praise him, we will adore his name for good weather. He has taken care of the machines, given us travel mercies, and he has given his servant his own words to preach to us. And the athlete thank the Lord for his favor. Then what departs us from the presence of the Lord is sin. Pastor Mino will also commit any sin that we have committed into the hands of the Lord. The Lord will take away all our weaknesses and replace us with his own strength. Auntie Aglade, lead us in prayer. Program one week or a wild You've given us good weather. It was just nothing cozen. When I would sing anywhere, all the social handles, it was the Amayat was some Amayat was some Amayan. Yet there was say, therefore, the Mukwani do not have a Christ above one chin. Papa, the baby was dictated, may have a kind of Uncle Tony as a mo. It was your major, it was your meal, but it was your missus who goes in the minty. Amen. Yet, Tiboni, we are Simo. And until your cassa, your bonnet, your nanti, your bonnet, a crown would be brave soon, your fat a fum will ready. Now, so would ye? Why a crowd will say, I bring Piara, you be one year and fum so near best sign, ye chino. You are ready to receive us. And unty and net and you marry, ye pay giant who at the bow in him. Yasem Yanan is said, Ye jitum say, I are the born year for ya fumo, ye cassemu, ye fumo, ye nantiemu, ye fumo, empo ya drink drinking moon po, ye fumo, ye didiemu, ya namon to our do I ye two yen yinara, a coin be so ye fa so a fumo, a bua wa yenim, a bua on soa yenim, nan so and you marry. One may acquaint you, sir. Yemra, when you want pie, Bomu dear, and ye are ba, Yasem Yanani, sir, Papa, ya fumu, and untify and fum soon in a chain, said ye bea, Yem pie boy, ye boy, a bet to me a druinim, Yada was sick, so yem pie, what ye for a gentle wet ye yen, now the yem fum so a chain, what do you mean tea? Amen. Amen. The word of God in Philippians chapter four, seventeen says that, My God will supply all our needs according to his rich promises in Christ Jesus. Therefore, we are before his throne and we are going to commit our individual needs unto the Lord. Wherever you view us from, you hear our voice. Please rise up as we pray. Those in this room and wherever you hear our voice, please, shall we all rise up as we sing, Pass me not, O gentle Savior. We will sing, you have a need. And I believe in prayers, especially whispering prayer. I want you to whisper a word of prayer to the Lord. Whatever that you need the Lord to do for you this evening, have faith that he is here with us. Commit whatever you desire to the Lord.
The Lord will never pass by you. He will hear your voice. My humble cry. While on earth thou art born, it do not pass me by. I want you to whisper a word of prayer. Bibi da wa kuma so Katre rade Na sam se Se ye shia mu mie nu mie nsa Na owo ye mfinfi The presence of the Lord is with us Wherever you are this evening There is a need That you need to commit to the Lord Whisper a word of prayer Tiagle, do you pray for all those who are sick? The word of God in Jeremiah chapter 30, 17 says that the Lord will heal all our sicknesses. The Lord will restore our health and heal all our wounds. We have that belief. And Tiagle, pray for all those seeking for the good health or seeking for the Lord to heal them. Pray. That the Lord should heal us. Papa, um, by your cord, your bomb pay you bury. Yes, say, I offer you now, but what do my human name? The ma Papa no off can or Bible more for the David ba whom a bob by Papa, yes, say, and you bring a day in your wing and bob or da. You know, one of who are your subbing in his one show with addition. We know that by your stripes. We were healed. Therefore, we are soaking each one, anyone who is sick in the blood of Jesus Christ. It was the age was saying, "Don't want someone to any brain." When the power on them, you're about to see what could pay. Well, but some fear now. The age is when you now go out to my young boy name. Even there, Father, meet them at the point of their need in Jesus' name. Game there, baby. We stand here, be standing in our word of Jesus Christ in His name. Amen. We will pray for those families with family issues. For example, the womb, the fruits of the womb. Pastor, pray. And we need to claim this promise from Exodus chapter 23, verse 26. It says, There shall be no one miscarried or barren in your land. Let's commit all those seeking for the fruits of the womb into the hands of the Lord. Most gracious Father, we thank you once again for this privilege. During creation, you blessed the man and you blessed the woman. Yes, Lord. Then you asked them to fill the earth. Yes, Father, what is the problem now? Some of us are in need. Some of us are roaming from hospitals to hospital. Some of us are moving from prayer camps to prayer camps, all in search for fruits of the womb. Father, you have never failed us. You will not fail us today. And it is not even in your dictionary to fail anyone. We are calling on you this evening that, Lord, you are the one that we know we will not go to any other god but to you the provider the one who gives even much more than we expect this evening we are calling on you and we present all families who need the fruit of the womb to your holy care we are praying and claiming your promises that there will be no miscarriages and therefore lord we know that you never fail and therefore we ask that we have come 
we have humbly come before you that this evening father hear our prayer and bless each and everyone who needs the fruits of the womb in jesus name we have prayed with thanksgiving amen amen shall we pray our father lord we are grateful to your name we thank you for how far you have led us this evening we have come before your throne we have poured our prayers before thee your name is a prayer answering god may you jesus answer our prayers according to your rich promises this evening as we sit to listen to your words may we humble our hearts and touch your son's lips give your own words and at the end we will give you all praise we thank you lord for hearing us in jesus mighty name amen amen America Kreni eye nda ye so si e benye shenye fidye wo mwa betu miya bwa Ami e tre mfo niya kwa TV so No bu Anase obi van America Kreni eye nda Betu miya bwa Ami e tre mfo niya kwa TV America Kreni eye nda ye so si e benye shenye fidye wo mwa betu miya bwa Ami e tre mfo niya kwa TV so No bu ni ebe frene brokers van Anase obi van I don't know who said it. You know, who said say Hope TV. Abba atransi. I drew me no mean so. I don't think I need a image now. Abu Buanui. Ne brave be say you know kabum. Ne yabuong. I made you me dinu tumi yupa ye. Mbe info se wonsum wonsum. What is kende sum? Sawa mama bua mwa. Se se di si kebi a ubinye biya. Odi abu a deyi no. Odi tuwa mwa. No more so dear Dijuma, said you, Uncle Ponge. And you see, I did a dear two BBN say, said you hope channel offering day, and I said, Danny Drew so I a year twenty eight May twenty twenty two. I a beco so I was seven day Adventist church, I was Southern Ghana Union. Yes, in your me and Sharon, so we in to walk a crack a boss, say, and Mark a cranny a day so see a bene shanya feed you with my bits. Jimmy, 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 Jimm
nashe sumunye sum kabi nasha sasi sume tumeni ami munarate one kwa na titi item ngu nyame na me down e ja je me je me na me mo abuoni di nyame na prani wanta bisa for ne werate ya wasum wa wuna wo mahai ya kwa mani mu wa wuna wo je abraba ye bisi basa me tu meni ami no wo afobia eti ji mi o e ja tu mi o wo ja mi ameni da so asa abraba ye bisi basa me tu meni ami no wo afobia eti ji mi o e ja tu mi o wo ja mi Many dance was a Eja Jimmy oh oh Era de Jimmy oh oh Eja Jimmy oh oh Era de Jimmy oh oh Osi ye misa na wo be mayen Ye hwehwe na ye be hunu Ye bo munsu wa wo be bi ye ne rade Ade na me ko me fura mo wa me ti wo ni I come in cool. We jump me a many dance was a Jimmy 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 oh, na me a mobo. Jimmy 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 oh, na me a mobo. Oh, da seni senke ne ne wuda, e na ne wuda e chatu wasa si swanka ube e deni o. And from so we were who were Sana Minia and then they were Quajita and Quajita and your Minia and then they would die 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 Wakarani yewe ni ni mase wopefi Na iso kodaya Inti wuti minia Tiye nini Tiye nini Tiye nini Tiye nini Tiye nini Yesu kasa chirewa Wuti minia Tiye nini Tiye nini Tiye nini Tiye nini and then they would do me. And
of Jesus calling repent today because very soon Jesus would come lifelink thank you so much for rendering this wonderful song song to us tonight we are blessed to have Joel Edu in the house so at this point we are listening to two songs from Joel after which we would come and introduce the speaker for tonight stay tuned Last night I lay asleep in the came a dream so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple then. I heard the children singing and ever as they sang, methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer rang. Methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer rang. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, lift up your gates and sing. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna to your King. And then me thought my dream was changed, the streets no longer rang. Hushed were the glad hosannas, the little children sang. The sun grew dark with mystery, the morn was cold and chill. As a shadow of a cross arose upon a lowly hill, as a shadow sorrows upon a lowly hill Jerusalem Jerusalem hark how the angels sing Hosanna in the And once again the scene was changed, new earth that seemed to be. I saw the holy city beside the tideless sea. The light of God was on the streets, the gates were open wide, and all who would might enter. 
answer and no one was denied no need of moon or stars by night or sun to shine by day it was the new Jerusalem that would not pass away it was the new Jerusalem that would not pass away Jerusalem Jerusalem sing for the night is over Hosanna in the highest forevermore Hosanna in the highest Hosanna God bless you. We are live on Hope Channel Ghana, 3ABN Ghana, and all our social media handles, all those who are watching from the various centers. What we require you to do tonight is that take pictures of those who are watching with us and send to the numbers on your screen so that we also show here for people to see uh, how good you are doing your various sites. So thank you so much for being part of this Freedom From Fear Bible Lecture Series. Tonight, we are blessed once again to have our speaker for all the night. Pastor Randy Skeet is ready to speak to us tonight. He will be interpreted as usual by Pastor Emmanuel Dixon, the president of Meridian Ghana Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The sign language interpreter will be Ruth Bafo. Before they come, the Freedom Car will lead us to sing Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. After this song, you would hear the voice of Pastor Randy Skeet. Stay right here. My understanding about laws is that they are they are rules and regulations governing our society yes, or our community. They are like rules, they are made to regulate human behavior. Right to freedom, right to, to life, right to own property. Yeah, that's, that's what I know. Yes. The Supreme Court. Yes, so Shraj, don't see what you... Yeah. Yes, my right has been violated. Um, in school, I heard that corporal punishment is now abolished. But my teacher still used to cane us. The highest law in Ghana is the Constitution. This is difficult. <laughs> The law on life. I think the law on life. <laughs> so which is which? The constitution or the right to life? Why don't you join me, Anita Delight Dankwa, every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. as we discuss all legal issues from a Christian perspective on Hope Channel, your preferred Christian channel.
from the very beginning of the great controversy in heaven, it has been Satan's purpose to overthrow the law of God. It was to accomplish this, that he entered upon his rebellion against the Creator. And though he was cast out of heaven, he has continued the same warfare upon the earth to deceive men and thus lead them to transgress the law of God is the object which he has steadfastly pursued. Whether this be accomplished by casting aside the law altogether or by rejecting one of its precepts, the results will be ultimately the same. The Great Controversy, page 582, paragraph 1. God is good and all the time. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. We have a busy night tonight. So I will cut short my normal introductory remarks. So I can get right into the message. But I must welcome all those of you who are not Seventh-day Adventists. Both in the building and online. We are delighted that you've come. You have come at the direction of the Spirit of God. And I pray that God will bless you for your attendance at this meeting. I cannot recognize you one by one tonight. But if you are not a Seventh-day Adventist, just wave your hand. That's all. Just wave your hand. You are not. God bless you. 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 And for those of you online, God bless you. Our subject for this evening. Ten minus one equals zero. E do uye baku frimwa a ye a ka ehunu. If you take the number ten, so fa e dua, which is one and zero. A ye baku any zero noa. Take away the one, so we ye one frimwa. You have zero left. Na fe a ka zero. Our subject is ten minus one equals zero. E nun ti brofunu pa ne ti asie wo mutse ba e do uye baku frimwa. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we have a busy night tonight, but we want you to be more busy blessing us as we do your work. I stand with my brother and my sister to proclaim the simple message of salvation. If we have sinned against you, forgive us, God. In mercy, forgive us. I present myself to you, dear God, and I ask you to be merciful to me. Use me, dear God. Put your words in my mouth, in the mouth of my brother. Guide the hands of your daughter who is presenting the message in her own way so that the truth may be received by everyone who listens. Father, bless this nation of Ghana, the host nation. Bless the leadership, dear God, not only as leaders of a government, but bless them in their homes as fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters. Father, bless every nation represented by those listening. Let this message finally cause some people to make the right decision. Heal the sick. Remove COVID-19 from anyone listening. Put a double blessing on all the little boys and little girls, I pray. In Jesus' name, let God's people say, Amen and Amen. What's our subject? 10 minus 1 equals 0. Let us go to the book of Acts chapter 17. Let's read verse 31 quickly. I want to shorten my sermon tonight. Acts chapter 17, reading verse 31. Because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained whereof he hath given assurance unto all men in that he hath raised him from the dead and 
Let us read that verse again. Because he, that's God the Father, hath appointed a day. If you say, or no energy in the which he will judge the world. What is the message for us? We must all face the judgment. We must give an account to God for the lives we have lived. People believe you live any life you like. Good or bad. Then you die. And that's the end of it. That's not the end of it. Listen very carefully to the Bible. Every single man and woman must answer to God for the lives he or she have lived. Let us go to the book of Matthew chapter 25. Matthew 25, we'll read from verse 31. Our subject, 10 from 1 equals 0. Or 1 from 10 equals 0. Matthew 25, reading from verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations. And he shall separate them one from another. As a shepherd divideth the sheep, his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. But the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand. Come ye blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you. From the foundation of the world. This is a judgment presentation. God divides the world into two groups. It is not rich and poor. It is not white and black. It is not man and single it is obedient and disobedient I say again God divides the world into two groups the sheep obedient the goats disobedient here is what he says to the sheep to the obedient come ye blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world let's go to verse 41 and see what he says to those on the left then shall he say unto them on his left hand depart from me ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels now this may be a little frightening but not all truth is always pleasant the most popular verse in the bible says for god so loved the world that's nice that he gave his only begotten son that's nice that whosoever believeth in him that's nice should not perish there is a perishing or a saving and it is in the most popular verse of the Bible you have to decide do I want to be on the side of eternal life or on the side of perishing let us go to Romans chapter 14 Romans 14 reading from verse 10 the Bible says, but why dost thou judge thy brother? 
or why dost thou set at naught thy brother for we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ for it is written as I live saith the Lord every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God verse 12 so then every one of us shall give account of himself to God let me pray again Father in heaven, continue with me and my brother and my sister as we deliver this very, very serious message in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. The Bible has told you Bible, there's coming a judgment. At that judgment, two classes. Obey. Disobey. Cheat. Goats. Lost. Saved. Saved. Now go back to Acts 17. Let's read verse 31 again. Acts 17, reading verse 31. Because he hath appointed a day. If you say well, no, I share a day in which he will judge the world ah, in righteousness. Notice, he judges the world in righteousness. The righteousness is the standard for the judgment. All courts have standards. If you're taken to court so for stealing a banana, there must be a law that says, do not steal bananas. If the policeman arrests you for speeding, and you appear in court, there must be a law that sets speed limits. Without, without, without a law, you cannot have a courtroom meeting. And so the Bible says, the Bible says He hath appointed a day into which He will judge the world in righteousness. What is that righteousness? Go to Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. We shall read verses 13 and 14. Our subject 10 minus 1 equals 0. Ecclesiastes 12, reading from verse 13. The wisest man who ever lived tells us these words. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God or respect God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man now someone may say to solomon why should i keep the commandments of god he answers in the next verse now text this one for god shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing whether it be good or evil the standard that determines if something is good or evil is the law of god let me say that again the standard in the judgment that determines what's right or wrong is the law of God. Go to Romans chapter 7 quickly. Romans chapter 7, let's read from verse 7. Romans 7, reading from verse 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. For I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. What is Paul telling you and me? He knew he was sinning when he looked into the law of God. I had not known sin, but by the law. Let me put it plainly for you. The only way you and I can sin is to violate the law of God. 
There is no other way to sin. And so in the judgment, the law of God is the standard that God uses because the law expresses the very righteousness of Christ. Now, let's go to James, the book of James. Written by the brother of Jesus. Let us go to James chapter 2. We read from verse 8. Our subject 10 minus 1 equals 0. James 2 reading from verse 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. Notice the verse, you are convinced by the law that you are a transgressor. For whosoever shall keep the whole law. And yet offend in one point. He is guilty of all. For he that said. Do not commit adultery. Said also do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery. Yet if thou kill. Thou art become a transgressor of the law. Now listen to verse 12. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. James, the brother of Jesus, tells us, live your life as though you understand that one day you will be judged by the law of liberty what is the law of liberty it's called the royal law in verse 8 it's called the law of liberty in verse 25 chapter 1 let's go to chapter 1 of James we read from verse 22 but be ye doers of the word only and not hearers deceiving your own souls. James says, don't just hear the word, do it. James says, or obey it. So be ye not hearers of the word only but doers for if any be a hearer of the law and not a doer he's like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass for he beholdeth his face and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he is now listen to verse 25 but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. That's the Ten Commandments. And continueth therein. What does looketh into mean? Whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. The Greek word for looketh. Is, it means to stoop down. And take a close look. Let's look at the same word used in another part of the Bible. John chapter 20. Find these verses quickly. I have to shorten my message tonight. John chapter 20. We read from verse 3. The disciples have heard that Jesus has risen from the grave. And they cannot believe it. Verse 3 of John chapter 20. Peter therefore went forth. And that other disciple. And came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together. But the other disciple did outrun Peter. And came first to the sepulchre. Now read carefully verse 5. And he stooping down. He bent down and will call from to take a close look. So it's the same here. word for whoso looketh into the law of liberty. What does the Bible tell you and me? Bend down. 
Look at the Bible. Look at God's law. Take a good look. And you will realize. I am violating the law of God. Whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. The person who bends down and takes a look. And continues in that law. Who obeys that law. He shall be blessed in his deed. Let's go to chapter 2 of James. Let's read from verse 8 again. Our subject, 1 from 10 equals 0. James 2 from verse 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Ye do well. In other words, when you obey, you're doing well. Look at the verse again. If you fulfill the royal law, you know, if you obey, you do well. But if you have respect to persons, you commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep all the law, keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he's guilty of all. Now, keep our subject in mind. Here are the Ten Commandments. You violate one as a lifestyle. Not an occasional mistake. As a lifestyle. The Bible says you are guilty of all ten. You take away one from the ten. There's nothing left. One commandment from the ten. There's nothing left in the eyes of God. Which brings me back to Sunday as the Sabbath. When you observe Sunday as the Sabbath, even though you have learned it is not the Sabbath, by breaking that one commandment, the fourth commandment, God holds you guilty of all ten. Because in God's eyes, one from ten equals zero. The other nine cannot save you. Let me make a very harsh statement. I'll pray first. Father, I have to be direct. I have to be blunt. I have to be bold. But let me be loving. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Any church that preaches nine commandments is not preparing you for heaven. Any church that preaches nine commandments is preparing you for hell whether deliberately or accidentally when the church tells you that the law has been done away with that church is preparing you for hell are you with me when the church tells you the sabbath is sunday that church is preparing you for hell whether you know it or not tonight I have come to open your eyes by giving you the word of God when you break one you break all and God the Bible says to us if you love me keep my commandments God gave Moses Ten. If a church gives you nine, that church is not doing the work of God. Are you in a church where they do not observe the seventh day Sabbath? That church is not preparing you for heaven. Because the standard in the judgment is the law of God and God's law ten ten precepts let me make a call if you are in a church that promotes nine commandments leave it 
the most dangerous place to be on this earth is not where there are earthquakes but where the law of God is disregarded because when God comes his vengeance will be frightening let me say it again the most dangerous place on earth is not where there are floods and mudslides and earthquakes. The most dangerous place is a church that disregards the law of God. The Bible gives us some hints to identify God's people. Go to, go to Exodus 19. Let's read from verse 4 quickly. Because I don't know how many minutes I have left, but I have to say this. Exodus 19. Reading from verse 4. Father in heaven, continue to be with us, I pray, please. Because this is such a, a, a challenging message. Be with us, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians. So we have the Egyptians and the Israelites. And how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant then he shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people the condition for being special to God is obedience to God now in a very general sense everyone is special to God because for God so loved the world but in a special sense those who are closest to God are those who obey him. And so God told the Israelites, he has seen what I did to Egyptians. Did God love the Egyptians? Yes. For God so loved the world, including the Egyptians. But he put the plagues on the Egyptians. He destroyed the Egyptian army and he took his people out of Egypt because his people were closer to him. You've seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, what's the covenant? Let the Bible tell you. Let's look at the foundation of the covenant. Go to Exodus 34 quickly. Exodus 34, we read verse 27 and 28. Exodus 34, 27, 28. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words. For after the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant. Read the last part of that verse for me the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are the foundation stone of God's promise to save us. And so the devil tries to get you away from the law of God. The devil tries to tell you that the law of God was done away with. My brothers and sisters, let me give you the identifying mark of God's people on earth. We just saw when God called the Israelites out, he told them to do one thing, obey my covenant. Then he gave them the Ten Commandments in the very next chapter. Now let's go to Revelation 12. We read verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The dragon means Satan. The woman means the church of God. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Which keep the commandments of God. Listen to me. The devil is only angry 
with the church that keeps the commandments of God. Satan has no problem with churches that observe Sunday. They are not a threat to him. The Bible says the dragon went to make war with the woman and her seed. How do we know who this woman is? She keeps the commandments of God. Let me say it again. The devil has no problem with churches that observe Sundays and The devil has no problem with churches that speak in tongues all at the same time. And a confusion in the church. The devil has a problem with that church that observes the law of God. The Seventh-day Adventist church. I'll tell you something else again that can lead you to make the right choice. Go to Matthew 28. Read from verse 18. Find it quickly. Find it quickly. Matthew 28, reading from verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Now think. I forgot to ask for my three favors. I was in such a hurry. Think. Listen to what Jesus says. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. The church of God must therefore be found in all nations. If you are a member of a church, there's one branch in Cape Coast, one branch in Accra, that cannot be the church of God. Because Jesus told his disciples, go to all the world. And we know from Revelation 12, 17, his people keep the commandments of God. The church of God on this earth is that church that respects the law of God. The church of God on this earth is that church that is found in almost every nation under heaven. And there are only two churches that meet that qualification. The Seventh-day Adventist church and the Catholic church. And the Catholic church does not qualify because it has changed the law of God. The Catholic Church does not recognize commandment number two. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. In the catechism of that church, the second commandment in your Bible does not appear. It has been removed because that church has idols. That church is the one responsible for people worshiping on Sunday and instead of on Sabbath. Two changes in God's law. The church of God will not change the law of God. The church of God will allow Christ to change it. To live in conformity with God's law. There's only one church on the face of the earth that qualifies as God's church. And that's the Seventh-day Adventist church. We believe in Christ. We also know Christ has a standard of living. And that is his law. Let me tell you again. If you are a member of a church that disregards the seventh day Sabbath, you are in a church preparing you for hell, not for heaven. And you ought to leave today. Go to John 10. Quickly. Read from verse 16. Come on, come on, come on. John 10, 16. And I'm a little hard on you tonight, but I have to stop. Do you have John 10, 16? Father in heaven, continue to be with me. Today. God, I pray, please, in Jesus' name. Amen. Other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, which means they were in other folds. The word folds means church. Jesus says, I have some disciples in other folds. 
Now here's what he says. Them also I must bring. They have to leave those folds and come to mine where my law is respected. Of the sheep I have which are not of this fold. God has good people in the Pentecostal church and he's calling them out. You didn't hear me. Let me say it again. God has good people in the seventh in a Pentecostal church. He wants them to leave. God has good people in the Catholic church that change the law of God. God wants them to leave. God has children in traditional churches that communicate with the dead. God wants them to leave. But here's how they leave. And they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold, one shepherd. Any church that disregards the law of God is preparing you for hell. And you ought to leave. I'll tell you one other thing. Then I'll make a call. Go to John chapter 6. John 6. John 6. John 6. Jesus is giving a long speech. Let's read from verse 51 quickly. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said, to them, yes, to catch them say. Verily, verily, I say no, to you, no, catch them say. except ye eat the flesh of the Son I of Man and drink his blood, no, 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 ye no. have no life. No, no, no. Whoso eateth my flesh no, no, no. and drinketh my blood no, 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 no. hath eternal life. No, no, no. And I will raise him up no, no, no. at the last day. No, no, no. For my flesh is meat indeed, no, no, no. and my blood no, no, no. is drink indeed. No, no, no. He that eateth my flesh no, no, no. and drinketh my blood no, no, no. hath eternal life. No, no, no. Dwelleth in me and I in him. What is Jesus talking about? Read verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. It the, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you. This is the flesh of Jesus. This is the blood of Jesus. To receive his truth. Now let's go to verse 60. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? As they listened to Christ, they said, This is hard. When Jesus, therefore, knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, he said unto them Doth this offend you? His words offended the disciples. Not all of them, but many of them. Go to verse 66. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Why? They did not like what he said. Someone listening to me tonight does not like what I'm saying. But my conscience is clear in the presence of the Holy God. Then said Jesus to the twelve, verse 67, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered, Listen to Simon's answer, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. This is extremely significant. Peter said, We're not leaving you. We're staying for one reason. Because of what you preach. You have the words of eternal life. The messages we've given you from night to night are the words of eternal life. Go to Luke 18 and then I'll close. I have to close. Luke 18. Keep the word life in mind. Let's read from verse 18. 
And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do and to now, inherit eternal life? What must I do to inherit eternal life? He is asking Jesus. Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one that is God. Now listen to what Jesus told him. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. He gives them some examples of the Ten Commandments. What was the question Jesus was answering? What must I do? Not just think. What must I do? Do to inherit in others receive eternal life not to give it to myself to inherit it Jesus says obey me churches tell you the law has been done away with remove the law you remove eternal life I want you to make a decision. God is calling you to follow him. And you follow God by simple obedience. We're about to have a baptism tonight. More of you need to make decisions to be baptized. That you might follow Jesus the way he wants you to. The way he wants you to. So, or no, so and there is only one thing so God wants back from back you and me. me. That one thing is. You tell me. Obedience. Obedience. If it's your desire. So you pay. To obey God. To obey to you with his help. I will not do more. Stand up. Sorry. 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 You know, huh? I'm talking to my friends online. Wherever you are, at the site, respond. Sorry. If it is your desire to obey God, stand. Call number two. Some of you standing right now still need to make a decision to be baptized. You have not yet made it. And I'm also speaking to those online. But before I call you, those who are being baptized tonight, where are you? Where are you? Where are they? Those who are being baptized tonight, where are you? There we come. Let me see you. Come, come, come. You're being baptized tonight. Just come, come, come. Let me see you. Come, come, come. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Come, come, come. I should close in five minutes. My brethren, forgive me if I went too long. But this is absolutely important. You're being baptized tonight. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Come. Come. You're being baptized tonight. Come. Now, if, if there's someone listening to me, you, you will make the decision to be baptized. You'll make the decision tonight. You won't be baptized tonight. You're just making the decision for the first time. If you'll make that decision, you come and stand on this side. You're deciding for the first time tonight. At some point in the future, I want to be baptized. Come. 
That call is also for those of you online. Oh, you want to be baptized and obey God. You're making that decision for the first time tonight. Come right up here. So I have two separate groups. I am making the decision tonight. Anyone? I'm also speaking to those online. You're making the decision tonight. Answering the call of God. You want to obey your Savior. You're making that decision tonight. While I'm praying, you may come. If you're too shy and you don't come, Tell our leaders right after the service that you want to be baptized at some point in the future. Because I have seen how shy you are. But for now, let me pray for those who've been baptized tonight. Our Father in heaven, standing in your presence in this building and at various sites online are those who will be baptized. In this building, they'll be baptized tonight. Other sites, they may be baptized at other times. We thank you for the work of the truth in their lives. And now, dear God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I present these sons and daughters whom you love to you. Father, right where they stand, grant them a measure of your spirit, dear God. Remind them somehow that you love them and that if they, if they will remain faithful, you will use them to bring others to Christ. And for that man, that woman who still needs to make that decision, move upon that person's heart, I pray, to decide to be baptized and to obey Christ. Hear this humble prayer, Father. Continue to let your spirit work, I pray, with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, let God's people say, Amen and Amen.
brothers in Jesus Christ, as you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you have decided to obey his word and keep his law, we ministers of the gospel of the Seventh-day Adventist Church do baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our brothers in Jesus Christ, today you have accepted Christ as your personal Savior. You have decided to keep the cross and follow Jesus Christ and also obey his law and walk with him. We as ministers of the gospel today do baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yenianum Yadam was a send them one five years to some crag and quanamwa put we are say. Namwa Simwa Guinea Pisan with you and Yanko Pomrasso. Namwa you sit here at your radio cheek and unti Yanso, your bowersu, a shed a jar or bar and no cronclo demo. Amen.
and you may be in your mind. What could we are saying? I'm one for years to say more crowd in one. I'm what this year, some of it doing your members. I'm why you sit here, a man on tea. Yes, so you're doing a yes, you need to do more. Abom was so as a jar or bar and no crop or demo. Money no crank or drew a woman. I'm moving your damn one. Amen. Our dear sisters, having accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and deciding this night to keep his law and to follow Jesus in all your lives, we as ministers of the Seventh-day Adventist Church will baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you may be in your mind, some more poor years here for years to some more crazy and quiet. No money, no bad, and you could do your see every year because it's all better. No more, you have to move somebody or sit here. I'm an embrace. It's not much. It is a bomb. I said, Jack or bar and no crock or demo. Money, no crank or drew a war. No more. Amen.
Say, Our dear sister, having accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior and deciding to follow him and walk with him and to keep his law, especially the seven day Sabbath, we as ministers of the Seven day Adventist Church do baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most importantly, God-fearing woman. Life is all about finding a happy balance between work, friends, and family. Love at home is very important to me. That is why I bring to you an exciting talk show that is engaging and informative with discussions about issues facing today's homes looked at from the Christian's perspective. Join me every Tuesday on Hope Channel right here at 8 p.m. with a panel of experts to help strengthen homes and inspire hope. Nia o nyanko fon yo shani se o ni pe biya be di ye e wa sa si iso. E no ti a jume biya o ye no u hiyan hon ni ndiye e ni nchire chire papa. Mpe ni fon se sa ngwa beba konto mre en kwenye niya na e jine mu nam so. And now, the Hope Channel, Eddie Jumedia, your friend, is a business forum. Abre wo. Ya wada nyumre no mochi biya. Mitre 8 p.m. She a me na na kwa misika. Menim peninfua wa bein no wa dosuko e wosika semu. Ebe di mu eni e nyuma mu be cinco nya ni a mau chire chire papa ebe boao na onsu weti ni tumpong. Piao. We want to thank God for tonight and we want to praise him for souls that have gone into the waters. 
We are closing for tonight. Let us all be upstanding. May you now surrender your mom, Pai. May you now yank a tie in. There is going to be another big baptism on Sabbath. There is somebody here who has taken a decision to be baptized on Sabbath. As every eye is closed, I want to invite that person to please walk forward so we shall offer a very special prayer for you. Yepon, Yami Aduma Homeda, Ebe Boy Sukesie, Ubi Waha Najui, Wes Sinajuni Pison Yeru Adepe Nantia. Amra and Yumrain, near Mom Paye, Yen Sreon Kronkro to me, Mano, Na Homeda, Yame Mana Kokodro, a man in Shira, non fan consume. Brian Yina Yakatayeni. We are inviting that person to please walk forward. Wherever you are, at the top or down, please just walk forward. We want to offer a very special prayer for you that on Sabbath you are going into the waters to be baptized and to follow Jesus Christ and to walk with Him and to ensure. That your name will be recorded in the books of heaven. That when Jesus appears, he will call you by your name. God bless you. Please come. Please come, madam. God bless you. Come. Come. As every eye is closed, if that is your prayer, just come. Walk forward. God bless you. God bless you. Every eye is closed. We want to invite you, please, to come forward. So we offer a very special prayer for you. Just come. There's one more person to come, so we offer a special prayer and say goodbye to ourselves for tonight. Is there somebody? Before we offer a prayer, let us baptize one soul. Father in heaven, as our brother has decided to walk with you and to be obedient to your law and to worship you and prepare for your second coming, we baptize him in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now let us pray, church. Our good Father, we want to thank you for tonight. We want to praise your name for souls that have gone into the waters, deciding to follow you and to walk with you through obedience of your law. Who are going to be baptized this forthcoming Sabbath? Lord, we lift them before thy throne. We are praying in the name of Jesus that Lord, you will fill them with your Holy Spirit. Let their names be recorded in the books of heaven. Remember them when the trumpet shall sound. Whatever lives that they have led, we are praying in the name of Jesus that your forgiveness power, Lord, will work on them so that they will be counted righteous before their sight. Father, bless the church. Bless our members. As they live tonight, be with them. Prepare them so they will live a righteous life before thee. Very soon the trumpet shall sound. I am praying and pleading. Father, remember every one of us for heaven. Let us be part of that kingdom. This is our heart desire. This is our prayer. Father, this is our wish. We pray that we'll be filled with the Holy Spirit so we can live for you in Jesus' name. Church, say amen. amen. As the freedom power continues to sing and in a low tone, I want to thank you so much for this evening. Baptism has begun. Just as you saw on the screen. So tomorrow we are going to continue with our baptism. So just send us a message. Call the numbers on your screen. Pastors are willing and ready to baptize you. So same time at exactly 6 o'clock, we'll be seated. 6.30, we'll be live on your screen. After the sermon, baptism would continue. Stay blessed and good night. God bless you so much.
อันนี้ทีมแมสเชสเซ